What's up, RC Addicts? Today I want to talk about a huge software update from DJI that allows intelligent flight modes on your Phantom 3 and your Inspire 1. Now these intelligent flight modes were promised back when these products launched 9, 10 months ago. In my opinion, they should have been available day one, but I can't complain. They, they're out now, they're perfected, and it's fall. It's a great time of year to go out and use and try out all these new modes on there. And what it is, there's five new modes of operation, so you get a lot more use and a lot more value, I guess you could say, out of your Phantom 3 and Inspire 1. Now with this, there's five new modes of operation, and as I go through the list, they just keep getting better and better. The first one is course lock. What course lock does is once you set it into the mode, whatever direction you're heading, it'll continually go in that direction no matter what. Therefore, you can concentrate on your filming, your shot, your angle of a moving object that you want to keep a certain distance away the whole way down the, the flight path on there. Let's say you're filming a wall, a train, a, a cheetah that's running, anything like that you want to keep uh, head in the same direction, it'll lock it in so you can concentrate on your filming. The other one is home lock. Home lock is good for beginners. Uh, once you're flying and you put it in the home lock, forward is away from you, backwards is towards you. And then of course you have right and left. So it kind of locks your direction. The other one is point of interest. So if you have a statue, a skyscraper I guess, um, think of something, a tree, anything like that, something you want to just circle, um, what you can do is put it in the point of interest mode and it'll continually circle so again you can concentrate on your shot. Now this, this is where it gets interesting. The next thing we have is what, what, what the Phantom 2 Vision had for the longest time we still haven't had until now is waypoints. And what that allows you to do is take the map on the DJI Go app, map out your waypoints on there that you want to go visit, hit go, it'll take off, go to those waypoints and come back and land autonomously. Therefore, you're able to concentrate once again on your shots. Make sure you get the perfect shot. And with that 720p download uh, to the, your screen on there, you can really tell exactly what you're filming, get some great shots. Now the very last feature, which I'm most excited about, is follow me. And what this allows you to do is to set the phantom up so that it follows you wherever you go. You set the distance back, your camera angle and hit go and it will follow you no matter where you go. Of course it can't weave around objects so you can make sure the, the area is free and clear but this can be used for so many great purposes. You're riding a quad, you're riding a dirt bike, you're riding uh, a regular bike, you're running, um, whatever you're doing it will follow you and this can be used so many different ways. Uh, it's great to see this feature implemented through the software side, nothing else is uh, needed to allow this feature to work. It's, it's absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to get out and try it. So as you can see, this is a huge update. There's a lot of new features, and that's not all. For DJI Phantom 3 Advanced users, which is a 1080p model, now you're upgraded to 2.7K. So you're getting a lot closer to the uh, 4K professional version like this one without paying all that extra additional money on there. So that's an amazing new feature for all you Phantom 3 Advanced owners out there also. There's not many uh, bug fixes, which is a good thing because you don't want each one of these updates coming out to have all these kinds of bug fixes. That means that the original software wasn't written that well to begin with. So there's a lot of new features updated, not a lot of bug fixes, and it's, it's free. So you might as well update. Now the biggest thing about updating this is you want to update to the 1.3.20 version first. I just put a video out that shows you exactly how to update to that in detail so you can get to that level and they can go to this new level which is 1.4001. That's the, that's, we're going to that next level of software on there um, with the, all these new features. But first you need to upgrade to that 1.3.20 version to do this update uh, successfully without any kind of errors. So I'll put a link to that down below, that update process, and you can use that same update process, update to this latest version, after you've gone to the 1.3.20 version. That's very important. That's why I keep repeating it over and over again. 
get to that point, then get to this latest version and go out and check out all those new features. In the future, I will have a video out on each one of these new features, these five intelligent flight modes, so we can go over them in detail how to use them and how useful or not, you know, not useful they are. Um, so look out for those videos in the future also.